once believed to be the cradle of civilization, is now revealing quite a different story. According to the sacred texts, many advanced beings left Atlantis after its destruction and traveled about the world to spread the benefits of civilization to mankind. The first pharaohs, Ptah, Osiris, and Thoth, built the pyramids in Egypt and handed down the secret teachings to pyramid guardians they called Dijedi. These Dijedi were part of a very ancient path and guardians of sacred knowledge. They were specifically chosen to safeguard humanity during the coming Dark Age. According to the sacred texts, before man arrived on the scene, there existed a beautiful civilization of gods. These higher beings reigned in Egypt thousands of years before man. They were the primordials, said to have originated on Earth and actually dwelled in Heliopolis for a total of 13,870 years until the time that the human pharaohs took over the rule of the earthly kingdoms. Their knowledge was hidden in secret books, intending that they should be sought by future generations, but found only by the worthy who were to use these discoveries for the benefit of mankind. The Cahun Papyrus reveals that these high initiates earned the title of the Jedi. These sacred texts reveal that Thoth was the master teacher of a group of Magi identified as the Jedi, Thoth handed down the teachings of an ancient order of warrior magicians. These Jedi were an elite esoteric order in ancient Egypt with a lineage that descends down throughout Europe and the world. The way of the Jedi is the way of the Force, which pre-existed George Lucas and the epic Star Wars saga. Ancient Egyptians, Sufis, and Knights Templar mastered the way of the Djed. Kundalini, or Life Force. The Jedi mastered advanced healing arts, martial arts, and they could manipulate matter with their own mind. They have reached a sublime state. In Buddhism, it is described as the highest state of awareness and concentration. This was the path of the Jedi masters. They chose to carry the torch that Thoth handed down and help the human race to evolve into a higher consciousness so that one day we will be able to crack the secrets of the pyramids and decipher all the clues about ourselves that the ancients left behind. Thoth and many other Jedi's are depicted in the many frescoes around Egypt holding magical tools, scepters, anks, and Djed pillars. Like in Star Wars, these Jedi of ancient Egypt wielded tools of immense power. They were the gods of legend who had supernatural powers and were able to float massive stones through the air. The appeal of Star Wars and the similarities of Jedi and Jedi is no coincidence. George Lucas was inspired by Joseph Campbell who brought us the hero's journey, the path that all initiates take on their way to a higher state of being. This is synonymous with all the ancient stories of legend. In the Hindu philosophy, love is the divine power of attraction and creation that harmonizes, unites, and binds us together, analogous to the Force in Star Wars, which has both a light side and a dark side. It is taught that those who live in tune with this force of love achieve harmony with nature, their fellow beings, and the universe. In Star Wars, those who achieve this higher level of consciousness become the masters of the Force. The ancient Egyptians practiced an identical path to higher consciousness. They taught about the energy centers within the body. The energy centers, or chakras, represent the map of our spiritual development and contain great power, which we can unleash and harness as we evolve spiritually. This is the awakening of the Jedi Masters, raising their Kundalini from the root chakra 
and all the way up to the crown, representing the full awakening of self to achieve mastery of the rainbow body. The teachings of Thoth describe that the pyramids were used as initiation temples for the High De Jedi initiates of the Secret Order. Initiation in the Great Pyramid was actually performed in the sarcophagus of the King's Chamber after entering through an underground chamber at the Sphinx. Candidates would undertake rigorous challenges as they traveled through a subterranean shaft that leads into the Great Pyramid. Once in the King's Chamber, the adept would lie inside the sarcophagus for three days. The Ba and Ka merge. This was the final awakening of the De Jedi Master. The ancient Egyptians believed that the pharaohs were one day destined to ascend to the rank of the gods and be like the gods and goddesses. A belief that stemmed from the old high priest initiations in the Great Pyramid long ago. Over time, the later Egyptians misinterpreted the ancient hieroglyphics written on the temple walls and took a more literal translation. The first pharaohs, Atlantean high priests, underwent initiations in the Great Pyramid to merge their souls with divine intelligence to become ascended beings. Later, less enlightened natives took this to mean that all pharaohs following in the footsteps of Horus, son of Osiris, were destined for divine achievement. The force is the light. The force is the dark. The Jedi chose the light for all it reveals. The De Jedi are the guardians of civilization, yet do not allow civilization to destroy needlessly. If your feelings propel you forward to follow the path of the De Jedi, then you are being called. Clear your mind. The whole universe is contained within you, and you can tap into this power. Fear nothing. Hate no one. Give love to all. See this love in everyone. The De Jedi mission is to revive the dormant living force inside every living being.